Hi everyone, I'm so excited to swatch some new inks that I just received in the mail today. I have uh, nine samples and I bought my first bottle of KWZ ink in the shade Honey. I just love this ink so much. It's a huge bottle. It's 60 mils for, I think it was $15, which is a great price. And um, I'm really excited to have a bottle of this. So even though I've already used it and swatched it, in the past, I am going to swatch it again here because I've never made a video doing it. And then I also got other samples just because I was in the fall mood and I really wanted to try out some more shimmer inks. I've been really into shimmer inks lately and using um, a little bit broader nibs than I normally would have in the past. So I have a Tomoy River notebook here. I also got this glass dip pen on Amazon. It was really cheap. I think it was $5.99. Now the nib is not the smoothest or the tip, I guess. I don't think that's, I don't know if that's considered a nib, but it is really pretty and it works like it'll do what I need it to do. And then I'm going to be using a little sample bottle to do the swatches and I couldn't find a pipette. So I'm just going to use this, which is what I normally use to like dip it in the ink, put it on the paper and then I'll spread it around with that. Um, first, I wanna do a shout out to Van Ness. Here is their website. It's vanness1938.com because they are seriously the best customer service ever. <laughs> like <clears throat> you order and you will get a shipped notification within hours if it's like during the day. Um, and I ordered this, I think, on Wednesday night, and it is Friday, and I have gotten it in the mail today. And they're across the country for me. So the shipping time, the turnaround time from order to shipping is just fantastic. They give the most generous ink samples for the best prices of anywhere else that I've looked for ink samples. These are all four mil samples. And... Um, yeah, I just really love their customer service. Their packaging is always impeccable. I've never ever had spilled or exploded ink from them, so I just highly recommend them. Again, that's their website, and I'll try to remember to link it down below as well, but just love them so much. The only thing I wish they had was Sailor products. They don't have any Sailor inks, so that's sad when I wanna try a Sailor because I would just much rather purchase through them, but <laughs> that's okay. That's my literal only complaint. <clears throat> so. Let us start. I kind of arrange things in rainbow order. Some are shimmers, some are not. I'm not going to do one first before the other because I think they'll all wash off fine off of this dip pen. So I will start with KWZ Maroon. Now, did I need another maroon ink? No, I surely did not. However, maroon is my favorite color out of... It's in my favorite color family, I would say. I just love maroon inks. I actually might not even need to use the little lid light. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, so this is, let me, I've never done a swatching video before, so I'm like being awkward. Okay, so this is also my first any kind of dip pen. I usually use like a regular fountain pen and I'll just rinse it in between, but it's like a pain to rinse. So I'm very excited to use this. I hope it's easy to use. So that's cool. Um, okay, so KWZ. It feels very scratchy. That's why I know it's not very smooth at the end. <laughs> um, I tried filing it with a nail file, but it just kind of seemed to make it worse. But anyways, it gets the job done. We can see the ink, so this is nice. Okay, it's just totally stunning. I would like to compare this. Oh man, I already got some down here. <laughs> I would like to compare this to um, Diamine Oxblood because I think that they look pretty similar to me, but I still love this color. I love that KWZ inks are scented like vanilla as well, and they all have a very good texture and viscosity to them. So they all are very wet and they feel, I don't know, just lighter inks tend to be very watery and feel very dry. This is the opposite of that. They feel like thicker, so to speak, and just very lubricated, very pleasant to 
write with in any pen. That has been my experience with KWZ inks so far. Okay, next we have Diamine Shimmer Tastic Golden Sand, and just look at that shimmer. Oh, gorgeous. I got this because I have never had a Pelican Edels Edelstein um, Golden Barrel, but it's not available anymore and I've always like wanted to try it. So I thought this kind of reminded me of that. I have no idea whether it actually will be similar to that because I don't have that ink, but if you have that ink, maybe you can tell me. But I just thought I would try it. Oh, this is gorgeous, wow. Okay. Hopefully I can get some shimmer in this. Okay, so this is Diamine Shimmer Tastic Golden Sands. I also thought this could be a cool color to add to other inks if I were to want to add some golden shimmer to them. Obviously it's gonna change the color of that ink as well because this isn't just shimmer, it is pretty yellow, but maybe I would like that at some point. So that is super pretty. I'm gonna hold it up after it dries as well so that you can see the shimmers better. I'm doing this on my lunch break, so I'm trying to kind of go a little bit quickly, but I'm just, I could not wait. I was gonna do it after work, but I could not wait. Here is another Diamine Shimmer Tastic, and this is Firefly. So I have been like super into orange inks lately. Um, I've, I've just been finding that orange inks shade really beautifully. And just for summer and now fall, I am really wanting to, whoa. That's so bright. I'm really wanting to use um, more orange inks. That is extremely bright. That's way brighter than anything I've seen on like swatching videos. <laughs> it's like almost neon. Okay, let's see here. This might not be the fall vibe I'm going for. This might be a more summer. All right, so. And I am keeping in mind as well that the dip pen is going to show it much more, I guess, saturated than being in a regular fountain pen for the most part because it's just putting off so much ink. I do not have any broad nibbed um, fountain pens, so I would be putting it in a medium at most. I do have some very wet mediums though, so... Yeah, I think it won't look exactly like these when it's in a pen, but it still gives a pretty good idea, I think. That is so orange, my goodness. I was not expecting that. I might have to like dull that down with a little bit of, I don't know, what would you say, brown ink? Or maybe a tiny bit of red ink just to like deepen it up a little bit. That is neon. <laughs> okay. All right, so next we have J. Urban 9, or 1798 Corneline d'Egypte. This is another shimmer ink, which I just saw on someone else's video and I wish that I could remember who it was, but they loved this ink. I think it was in there currently inked. And they loved it and I was like, ooh, I have to try that. So I think I left a comment and if it was you and you're watching, leave a message down below or leave a comment down below because thank you for the recommendation. Alrighty. Now this is definitely more of the fall orange vibe that I was going for. A more deep and muted orange brown. Okay, so let's see. Okay. 
So yeah, when I write with this in a pen, I'm sure it will come out with this lighter color rather than this deeper, darker color. This scratchy feeling on the paper is giving me the ick. <laughs> But yeah, I'm sure in a pen it's probably going to look more like this and less like this, which is fine. I like both. I'll be interested to try it in different pens to see how it does. All right, next we have from Tatya Koyame. This is not a shimmer ink, but it did, it did look like a gorgeous burnt orange. Oh wow, that's almost exactly the same tone, how funny. Maybe like slightly more red, but no, that <laughs> those two are twinsies, especially on the camera. In person, it looks like slightly more warm I guess. I don't know but yeah those are very similar which is cool because then I would have one shimmer and one non-shimmer of the same tone all right so we have Tachia Koyami oops Okay. That is strikingly similar. This looks a little bit more orange and deeper in the writing, whereas that was a little bit more yellow in the writing. However, it could just be there might be more ink on the dip pen. So that is very cool. When I tend to like a color, I'll go like ink sample shopping and I'll just somehow end up with like 20 of the exact same color from different brands <laughs> in my shopping cart. I just, I guess when I'm going for something, I have a type and that's fine. All right, so now let's do the KWZ Honey. Look at that, so pretty. I haven't bought an, a bottle of ink in a long long time because the last time I bought bottles of ink it was from a specific brand and I really thought I was going to love all of them and so I got five bottles this was like when I was first getting into fountain pens earlier this year and when I got the bottles I was very disappointed because the inks were so dry and at that point I didn't know about like dry inks versus wet inks I just had like the colors and um I was just so disappointed and it was a lot of money because they were bottles you know and there were five of them so I was like I'm not gonna buy any more bottles until I know for a fact that I love that ink so I did buy some diamine bottles because I do trust the diamine brand like I know that they're very consistent um, and they all seem to have a really good texture. I've never come across a very dry diamine ink. Um, and they're like $7 for a good size bottle as well. So I have bought a few of those, but I haven't bought any other big bottles. So I'm excited to have this one. I just love this color. Definitely in the pens that I've written with that had that I inked up with honey, it was much lighter of a color. It definitely looked more towards this color than this color. Um, so yeah, that's just what happens when you're swatching. It tends to look a bit darker, but I love it. I just love it. So next is Ferris Wheel Press Goose Poupon. And I got this because I've seen so many people talk about it and say how wonderful it is. And um, how it is very similar to Pilot Orochizuku Inaho, which is discontinued, and I've always wanted to try that one, so I thought I would try this as well, but in my experience, Ferris Wheel Press inks have been a little bit dry, depending on the color. Um, like, I have Royal Rhubarb, which is not dry at all, but then other ones did seem to feel lighter, so I'm hoping this one is not like that. Um... 
so oops I keep putting the cap back on so let's find out also this is like the back of a notebook so it's gonna pull weird I'm gonna try and keep it flatter so it doesn't all go to one side but I thought this would be a great fall color as well a smooth spot on this pen <laughs> yeah this is a really nice greeny yellow brown color I actually really do like that and it does not feel dry at least at this point it feels pretty good so I'm excited I'm going to ink this up for September for sure thank you everyone who has mentioned that this is a wonderful ink and for influencing me. All right, next is Robert Oster Cafe Crema. I've wanted this forever, but it's always been out of stock at Van Ness until this time when I went to look, it was back. So I am happy to have had an opportunity to try it. Ooh, I like that. I get the height. This is a really nice brown. Nevertheless, the next one is Urban Emerald de Chavor or Emerald of Chavor. Uh, this is another one that I've just seen everywhere and everyone seems to love it and it's sparkly, so I wanna try it. A beautiful teal color, looks like. I um, don't love blue inks, as I've mentioned before. However, um, teal is the exception to that. I do generally tend to like teal inks or more green-leaning blues. Okay, so. This feels like a pretty wet ink. Ooh, that's bright. It's pretty. I'm scared to break this glass thing pen. Um, okay, yeah, that's really pretty. I wonder if I got some good sparkles in there. We shall see. All right, last is Kobe 38 Kita Nosaka Night Blue. I got this because it looked like a really nice deep navy blue, and I wanted a nice deep navy blue to match my blue in my new Esterbrook SD. Um, and as far as blues goes, again, a dark navy blue is a blue that I can get behind. I tend to just not really like the bright, true blues, I guess. Um, but I do like a dark navy blue from time to time. Yeah, that is really deep. That is definitely like a blue-black. I like it. So we have, and this is my first time trying a Kobe ink. I have heard that they are very wet inks, which I love. Um, I want to try more of their inks, but every time I go through, you know, the website, the brand, looking at all the inks, I feel like I already have other inks similar to those colors. So I don't know, nothing like jumps out at me to buy it. So if you have some Kobe inks that you really love, let me know down below. 
what I should try um, because I'm much more inclined to try it based off recommendation than me just like aimlessly choosing. So there we have them all swatched. They are beautiful. I'm very excited about these. I'm thinking I might want to ink up, ooh, you can see all the shimmer in these two so far. The other ones are not dry. I'm thinking I might want to ink up Golden Sands and Cornaline d'Egypte and maybe, well, definitely Goose Boupon and maybe Cafe Crema for September. Okay, so everything has pretty much dried and I have brought you outside to the garden. <laughs> to um, look at these in natural lighting. So here we go. You can definitely see the shimmers in that golden sands. That is stunning. Um, the firefly is a bit more coy on camera, but you can kind of see it in the large swatch there. I can see it in person in the writing, but I don't think you can on camera. And then the Cornaline d'Egypte, um, you can definitely see it in that swatch and in the writing a bit as well. I really love the lighter golden color in the S's there, so I'm excited to see that in a pen. The Tatcha has some really nice darker shading. There we have Honey, gorgeous, love her. Goose Poupon is such a pretty color. I'm so happy to hear that people say this is very much like Inaho because I feel like I will want to get a bottle of that. That looks really nice. Cafe Crema is beautiful, beautiful shading. I love the, the tone of that brown. And then Emerald de Chavour. Oh my goodness. The, the sh golden shimmer in it combined with the color of the teal and the shading. It definitely has a red halo kind of sheen around the edges. Uh, it's stunning. Oh my gosh, look at it in the writing. It is stunning. I am so excited to throw this in a pen. I'm going to try and think of like what would be the best pen to put this in that's like the, um, the broadest nib that would show these off. And then this Kobe is also gorgeous. It seems to have a bit of a sheen in that big swatch right there. Um... In the writing itself, I don't see the sheen, but I do think this will be a good shader. And so yeah, there you have it. Sorry about all the road noise, but these are gorgeous. I'm very, very happy with all of them. And I'll see you guys later.